I've kind of been on a kick all weekend, and my husband and I had a really long conversation about this yesterday. For those of us in the Gen X generation, do you remember when the Sinead O'Connor scandal hit? When Sinead tore up the picture of the Pope? I can remember that, and though I didn't know why she did that and all the circumstances around it, I was shocked that she would tear up the picture of her church leader. It would be like a Mormon tearing up the picture of President Kimball or President Hinckley. I didn't find out until later that the whole action had been a protest against the Catholic Church covering up child sexual abuse. And at the time, since I have uh, close relatives who are members of the Catholic Church, I had said to myself, how could anybody finding this out about their church stay Catholic? How? In October of 2022, we will hit the 30-year anniversary of Sinead O'Connor's act. And here we are facing sexual abuse scandals in about every church where it can be uh, published. The Amish, the Southern Baptist Convention, the Mormons, everybody, the Boy Scouts. It's happening everywhere. And again, my question is the same. How can you, as a member of one of these organizations, still be a part of it, still support it, still maintain it, when children are not being protected? In case you haven't figured it out yet, the kind of Mormon that I was was the crazy right-wing kind of Mormon, the prepper kind of Mormon, and I was heading along that merry path. I mean, I had friends who thought Ammon Bundy was a hero. I followed bloggers who were nutsoid, who thought Julie Rowe and John Pontius were great. And where did I finally split with the nuts? I split when the story of McKenna Denson came out and I realized that I was more than just one individual case, that child sexual abuse and its cover-up was as endemic or worse within the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints as it was or ever had been within the Catholic Church. And so again, I ask, where are you going to draw the line? What has to happen for you to say no more? I will not take this. You shall not pass. For me, it's the issue of protecting children. And I know when I see people who remain with these organizations that no matter what the lip service is, they don't really care about protecting children or they would. <laughs>